Hi guys, today let's discuss how black males are increasingly going MGTOW. One rationale is that supporting black women has no actual motivation left for them. Second, in the black community, being a decent guy is not valued. Third, when there is competition, black males become hostile toward black women. Additionally, this gives black men the impression that black women are dangerous. One of the most blatant reasons why young black men choose to go their own way is because they were raised by a single mother and witnessed the imprisonment of their fathers for failing to pay child support. They saw how their moms mistreated them and sent their fathers behind bars. Because of this, they are less likely to be tricked into getting pregnant by black women, and because of growing living costs, they cannot afford a child they did not want in the first place. Black guys, who do not wish to deal with the theatrix of being yelled at for purportedly being incompetent, are emotionally drained, in my opinion, as a result of having to deal with furious black women. Another reason preventing black men from dating black women is the fact that dating black men is no longer as taboo for white and Asian women as it once was. Although many parents from the baby boomer and Generation X still have prejudice and won't let their daughters marry black men, this does not stop white, Asian, and Latina women from casually dating black men. Significant racial mixing has taken place during the past 20 years. Therefore, black men will have access to women who are higher in the sexual marketplace when given the choice between dating aggressive black women or less aggressive and nasty white women. Black women are starting to swirl, which reduces the number of black women that are available. Why wouldn't black guys go their own way if they can clearly see how black women treat non-black guys differently? They have every right to be angry. These are only a few of the brief explanations I could think of, but in addition to all of them, black males are discovering that all women, regardless of their ethnicity, are simply not worth it. Black women's expectations aren't merely rising because they have access to white males who are, for whatever reason, valued more in the sexual market. It has to do with how increasingly awful all of the women in our society are. On the other side, if you pay attention to the women in that equation, they'll tell you that there are no more real guys because they have unrealistic expectations and no longer restrict themselves to men from their own backgrounds. As a substitute, you'll notice that black women compare black guys to white men when it comes to dating. There is actual swirling, and it is becoming widespread. This indicates to me that black women have such high expectations for black men because they have experienced higher white status and are now doing the same with those black guys. Black guys are particularly new to this, but white guys have dealt with this before as well. Now having a reliable career and a residence of your own doesn't cut it for white or Asian men because most men already have it. Instead, you must also be wealthy, have fancy vehicles, be well-dressed, and have status. You also need to be accomplished. When you're a white guy, it may seem much simpler to have all of that, but keep in mind that you're competing with other white guys. As a result, many white gentlemen are now dating Filipinas, black, or Latin women instead. Once these ladies get a taste of the white man, they simply won't return. The schlong of a white guy may not be as long, but it is thick, according to women. The article mostly tackles why black males are choosing to distance themselves from black women, but I believe it would have been more appropriate to highlight why black men should be doing this with all women. Another thing I've forgotten is that black women want entertainment, the same thing white women want from white guys. When women in general talk about wanting an educated guy, they obviously mean that they want a man with a strong earning potential, but they also mean that they want a man who is intellectual and understands what he's talking about so that she can have fun too. Let's be clear, not all college degrees are created equally. The next piece I want to share is on the disappearing black students at prestigious American colleges. I assume that since they can now make higher wages and attract nicer women to themselves, more black males would be enrolling in universities nowadays. The college industrial complex and what amounts to racism in the classroom were discovered when I searched for publications online. Over the past 20 years, there hasn't been much of a movement in the proportion of minorities enrolled in elite universities like MIT and Harvard. This demonstrates that while the larger schools are attracting many minorities, the smaller, newer, and less competent institutions are increasing their enrollment. It almost seems like the educational system is creating clown colleges for minorities while maintaining the white exclusivity at Ivy League institutions as it has always been. Places like MIT undoubtedly do this in order to maintain their high criteria for admittance and to advertise that its graduates are among the top individuals in the world. This brings me to another reason why black males are increasingly choosing to leave black women behind. When you're competing with males, spending enormous sums of money on your schooling, but having trouble finding employment and frequently working and living paycheck to paycheck won't help you attract the lady. Men who already have higher incomes and established careers are going to have all the luck. They hardly have any debt, 
As you can see, many women are depending on finding a partner with resources to assist them in paying off their debts. Due to the fact that these same women also have student loan debt, they are increasingly discriminating against highly educated black males. So it becomes simpler for them to maneuver and cajole an unassuming white male into paying the money she owes the government. When it comes to black males, I wouldn't really define them as going their own way and would instead describe them as being more true force and lonesome kind of men. They could have ambition and good looks, but if they lack bling, they won't get beyond the woman's first test. Because their economy is rapidly becoming about status and dominating here in many categories, I bring up the fact that black males aren't enrolling in more elite institutions. Consider the ladies around you right now. They spend $1,000 on a handbag, yet there is less food in their fridge than ever. Women are craving pricey luxury items despite being poor. Nowadays, most women want a man that resembles Chris Evans and won't settle for anything less. However, in my opinion, Evans is essentially going his own way because this year at the Oscars, he brought his sister. He brought Tara, his best buddy, the year before. He previously mentioned having girlfriends and wanted to get married. And yet what he says and what he actually does are totally unrelated. After the creation of the social security state in the 1970s and 1980s, black males parted ways with black women long ago. They don't comprehend that blacks were well on their way to success before the state decided to give them a so-called helping hand in native populations in the United States. But the majority of blacks today vote for liberal or socialist governments so they may receive the benefits. Native Americans who were never granted their own reservations or free money from the government are really doing better than those who were first placed on reservations. I believe the creators of the social welfare state were aware of this and started issuing cheese to lactating black women. Is it any surprise then that black men are avoiding black women? I don't blame them for dating people of different races because they watched as their dads and grandfathers were destroyed by them. Many black guys are fully emigrating from the United States and moving to countries like Brazil. In a documentary titled Frustrated Black American Men in Brazil, it was demonstrated how black men in the West treat all women in the West differently than they treat black women. It depicts elite black males traveling to Rio de Janeiro in search of love. This is just for you to understand the extent to which black men go to in order to leave black women and go their own way. These men are wise in that they are leaving and getting it on with women in countries farther south since it is obvious that if they bring those women back to the United States, they would end up being just as corrupted. Men are prepared to leave terrible relationships and go halfway across the world to get what they want. These men have fled their relationships Black, white, and Asian males from Western nations will begin leaving the communist crap hole as the West disintegrates. Women are typically the slowest to adopt new trends, so maybe they will remain in the socialist utopia they have built for themselves. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in.